Hello. Welcome to another tour of the Bitcoin blockchain from PreferredSyntax.com. We will be looking at block rewards, both spent and unspent, and transaction volumes per block, spent and unspent. Each small loop represents a day, with about 144 blocks. Here we are looking at the first day of the blockchain, in 2009. Each of these colored blocks, is a block reward of 50 bitcoins, they are owned by the miner who processed the block. These early block rewards remain unspent to this day. As I speak in October 2022, the value of each of these colored blocks is about 1 million US dollars. A few of the early block rewards have, however, been spent by the miner who owned them. We have represented these spent rewards by white spheres. They have either been transferred to a different owner, or perhaps just rearranged into another wallet owned by the miner, we will never know. The Bitcoin blockchain has no concept of individuals. This great cube is interesting, or at least, unusual this early in Bitcoin's history. As usual there is a block reward, green in this case. But the grey cube attached to it represents a volume of transactions. What this means is that someone, at this point in history, has moved some block rewards to another wallet. Because these multiple reward colors now exist in a combined wallet, we have represented them as grey, as if the colors have been mixed. A miner, sometime in 2009, has gathered one or more transactions and processed them into a block. Because the green reward has not become the white sphere, we know that the miner has not yet, in 2022 as we speak, spent his reward. Furthermore, as the grey block is shown as a full cube, the new owner of the transacted bitcoins has not spent them either. Perhaps, after all these years, he will spend them in the future. Or possibly, he has lost the keys, in which case these bitcoins, several million dollars, can't be accessed by anyone. If this is the case, these coins are effectively dead. We are now approaching a second point of interest. What we've seen so far is lots of unspent rewards, with just a scattering of white spheres representing spent rewards. But here we see several days worth of white spheres. Presumably someone, or some people, became quite serious about mining, reaping large rewards over these few days. However, bitcoins at this time were worth very little, so if the miner sold them back here, he wouldn't have got the millions of dollars that this amount of coins is now worth in 2022. Here again we have a block with a significant volume of transactions involved, represented by the large grey cube. The white sphere shows that the miner has spent his reward, whilst the people holding the coins included in the transactions themselves, have not spent the transacted coins. Again, they may have lost the keys. So what we are seeing is that people are mining, and collecting the rewards, but at this early stage people are not transacting with the coins they have earned. It's early days here, but we will see this change further on. This flat grey square is something we've not seen yet. It was once a cube representing a volume of transactions, but the transacted coins have since been spent, depleting the cube down to become a flat square. The coins, at some point after this block, have been moved to a more recent point in the blockchain. Maybe they were sold to a new owner, for money, goods, or services. This is what Bitcoin was invented as, an electronic cash system, that is completely peer-to-peer.
Here we have a partially depleted cube. About two thirds of the coins transacted, have since been moved to somewhere more recent. The other third of the coins remain here. We will continue this tour in the near future. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see it when it arrives. Tata for now. Oh, and take a look at preferredsyntax.com to see what else we've been up to. Have a good day. Music courtesy of Tony Whiting, check him out on Spotify.